Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Talking Kayaks with Alex. Now, is it a kayak or is it... Anyways, today we're talking about the brand new Pelican Catch 100 Power. It's kind of like a hybrid in between a kayak and a boat. It is a personal watercraft. It's not out yet. They just announced it today. They did a live session. You, I'm going to put a link down below to their Facebook page where you can check everything out about this boat. But I just want to give you a little bit of information about it and give you my opinion about this brand new boat as well this is gonna be a 10 footer or a little less than 10 foot and it's probably gonna be around 38 to 40 inches wide i don't have the exact x specification and of course all this is such a change because they're still working on this thing but it looks amazing and it's gonna be able to take a two and a half horsepower gas motor not only that but could probably take definitely will be able to take more than that it's just that there are regulations that don't allow them to rate it higher than that because of the nature of the boat itself but i think you could put a five horsepower motor on that thing if you if you, if you really want to i mean you may boy they warranty but who knows anyways this thing is what what i like so far about it is that it's pre-wired for that battery it has kind of like a little hatch in the front that you could put your battery and it's pre-wired so you just connect the cable and connect it on the back and put your trolling motor in there no problem the seat is a 360 seat and it wibbles of course in 360 degrees and it goes forward and backwards so if you are using an outboard and you need to have your hands on the tiller well you could move all the way back all the way to the front if you want to manage your weight as well that's really huge the boat has four rod holder flush mounted rod holders they did something really awesome that i like about this i think maybe they took a page from hobie in that they the handles the, it has really long handles not hobie this is more like the first the titan if you look at the titan from native the handles are the re gear tracks the gear track they turn it into handles so it kind of has like something like that it has two long handles in the middle with channels built in to the handle so you can put your gear track accessories in there also towards the front it has two more gear tracks that's really good the boat also have the scoper holes and the scoper holes underneath the boat it has like a little channel where you could put a transducer and that little scoper you could also make it bigger if you want so that's good copper hole that's good one of the amazing thing about this really nice little little tiny boat is that it has two built-in wheels on the back as well as two handles so you could basically lift this boat up with your two hands bring it down of your truck get it through the other handle and go you don't have to think about getting any uh, kayak cart or, or use a trailer or anything like that and that is huge even though I love my sea tug if I don't have to use it awesome just awesome it weighs just under 80 pounds without the seat and if you add the seat it weighs about 87 pounds which is awesome to this it, i mean it weighs less than many kayaks and it's the shape of the hole makes it that you're able to stand up on this thing and fish of course if you're like a bigger person maybe the stability is not going to be the same for you also this boat is going to be able to hold about 450 pounds which is a lot i mean 450 pounds for a 10 footer that's a lot of weight awesome when, when i first heard of it i was a little skeptical because i go is this another johnny thing like is this just another me too but when you look at it that thing looks so good it, maybe it's the blue color because i love blue and also comes with a sand color but it just looks amazing it looks like like a tiny little boat and with an outboard i could just see that thing going eight miles an hour plus and really really good useful thing that they thought about like having the two built-in wheels and having those gear tracks on the handles and having the battery box and having a pre-wire i can't wait to have one of those things in my garage and you know take it fishing although i'm gonna flip it first guys links down in the description if you want to see the whole live session that i did stay tuned for more videos about this coming soon